Welcome back. Have you ever heard of juice bread? If you have, then oh my gosh, I just need to give you a round of applause because how did you hear about that? We only heard about it here on the show because of this guy, Chef Jacob Valentine from Portland's nonprofit cooking school, Feed the Mass. You mentioned it to us a couple months ago and we said, yes, we will have you back on the show, <laughs> but you had never even made it at that time? No, uh, it was one of those things that like, I listened to like a lot of podcasts and uh -huh. they're like, you know, why don't we put juices in bread? Because it's mostly water that we put in the breads and juices practically you know, water, so yeah. why not throw it in? And it was actually a really easy um, substitution. And the bread, as you see, turned out amazing. Yeah, and it doesn't look, like the juices that you put in there are a lot crazier colors than the bread. Oh yeah, the bread is actually super vibrant, and then when you bake it, it kind of dulls in color, but the color, I mean, as you can see, it stays, and it's amazing. So like, to make the bread is actually super simple. If anyone's ever done bread making, uh, they understand. No. no? Well, it's <laughs> super easy. Right now. Right now, here we go. So we have flour uh -huh. in our little cup. We have yeast and salt, super easy. Okay. Now, we're gonna go with our hands, get in there. Get in there, yep, mix it get around. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so we have our juice now. I like now. bread making already, and I already got some on the floor. Whoops. It's okay. So juice has sugars, which yeast loves sugars. Oh. So we're gonna use the juice uh, as our sugar and our liquid. And this is this right. orangish red yep. juice? So, oh, don't, don't make, oh, we're gonna no. use our fork. <laughs> we're gonna use our fork. Mix oh. it together. Um, so what we're doing is we're just hydrating our uh, flour. That's gonna be part of the process of making bread, is just hydrating our flour. And then we're gonna start kneading as soon as the uh, uh, the juice and the flour come together. Now yeah. yeast takes a little bit of time to activate um, and since there's sugars in the juice it'll eventually start to create CO2 which then after it's all mixed together perfect. And there's beautiful. the recipe follow along at home there, there you, you go. go. All right so all you gotta do is very oh. simple mm -hmm. we're gonna take the excess off our forks and our hands. And our hands. <laughs> and we're gonna put it onto our little silt pad and then we're gonna start squeezing. So start squeezing. Get it. Okay, in there. just squeeze it squeeze around. Squeeze it into a ball. Uh -huh. Yep. Wow, it's gonna be such lovely pink bread. And then I you know. get the vitamins from the exactly. juice, right? Exactly. And that's the cool thing. If you're if you if your kids are struggling with like getting their vitamins, add it into bread. You can add it also into um, pretty much if you have like a, a blender, you can get any vegetables Ooh, you want yeah. and actually have it all um, come juice. together. I know. So, so fun. So from here, we're gonna start kneading. And kneading is a very okay. simple fold. Because press. you need your vitamins exactly. and your fruits and veggies. So you put them in your bread. Exactly. So While you keep kneading, we need to call over our taste testers. Yes, we have come Destiny on over. and Watson, of course, and Max, who's my brother, in town from Seattle. And you know, I'm just doing my sisterly duty to say, get your vitamins, eat your there fruits you and go. veggies. I don't get to see you a lot because you're in Seattle. So um, here, now I'm forcing you to eat vegetables on live there TV. Which kind are they gonna have? You so, got carrot, beet, celery, yep. greens, or tropical super, Something. Super C, so it's like has that vitamin C in it. Um, all of them are really good. The cool part is you actually kind of taste a little bit of everything when you're eating it. Ooh, so okay. definitely go for it. Get, take your pick. That. I will take whichever one try you guys do not try. Is it good, one. Jacob? Can you it's taste delicious. the juice? You can taste the juice, which is super weird because you never actually had so celery good. in your bread, and then you're like, is that celery? And yes, it's celery. Ooh. Whoa. It's really good. It's right? really good. That's exactly. awesome. Exactly. There's kind of like a little bit of sweetness in there too, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes, yeah. it goes right. really well. So then this is our bread. So all we do wow. is let this rise for about an hour and then put it into your oven 450 degrees for 30 minutes and you have bread. Amazing. Can people find the recipe? Yes. We're going to be putting this feedthemass.com. It will be under our recipe tab. It will be on tomorrow morning. Easy. Amazing. And if you also go on there, you can contribute to their fundraiser yes. and get this amazing shirt like Jacob. Okay, cheers. cheers. We are healthier. We've had our fruits and veggies and we will be right back. Watson will share with you, I promise. <laughs>